UFC Vegas 85 is coming up this weekend, and today, guys, I have the three fighters on the card that I will be cheering for more than anybody. I'd love for you to hear me out and why I am cheering for these fighters. I'd love to know what you guys think down below, and if there are any fighters on the card that you, in particular, will be cheering for. I'd love to hear from you, but guys, we're going to get into that in just a second. Before we do, though, I do want to say hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's talk about these fighters. So I'm going to go from three to one here on why I am cheering for these fighters in the first fighter that I will be cheering for is going to be Charles Johnson. It's honestly mostly because this guy I have been watching since he was in the LFA days. I've been following Charles Johnson for a very long time and this dude fights with all of his heart on the table and he hasn't been able to put it together in three fights. One of those being a short notice fight but regardless if he loses again he could very well be cut from the UFC and I think that honestly this dude has all the talent in the world and it would be such a shame for a guy who fights with such grit and heart and determination to get cut from the UFC. And that's honestly what could happen because he can't put it together. And I'm really pulling for him. And I do like Azad as well. Honestly, I do. But if a, he could get wrestled again in this fight and he could get held down, that's something that he really, really needs to do. But he has such fun striking. He's always a blast to watch Charles Johnson. And honestly, he is much better than his 13 and 6 record. So I will be cheering and pulling for Charles Johnson to get the win this weekend. Now, guys, for the next fighter, to be honest with you, it's more of an I don't like this fighter type thing. So the next fighter that I will be cheering for is going to be Diana Belbita. Now, nothing wrong with Diana Belbita. I just don't really, I, I don't like her. I don't dislike her. I just honestly, I don't care for her. She's not that like great in the division, right? But it's just, I really want to see Molly McCann lose, dude. One of the cringiest moments in UFC history was Molly McCann with that belt like this, like, yeah, yeah, and then she just loses, you know? I, I just, I, it's so cringy to me. Molly McCann always bothered me, like, from the point where she's constantly trying to, like, feed off of any little attention that Patty Pillman has. Rubs me the wrong way, super cringy, so honestly, the reason that I really want Diana Belby to win is just because I want to see Molly McCann lose again. Like, that Aaron Blanchfield fight was hilarious to me. Loved it, but anyways, guys, there is one more fighter that I'll be cheering for on the card more than anybody, and it kind of hurts me to say because I do like his opponent as well. It's going to be Drew Dober. It's going to be Drew Dober. Guys, it's tough because I really like Money Moicano. He is hilarious. He's a great fighter. I want to see him come back after his injury, but at the end of the day, I really, really always want to cheer for Drew Dober. Some guy who always puts on a show for the fans, always is here for us, always takes on the tough up-and-comers that nobody in the lightweight division will take on. And I just really would love to see Drew Dober one day. Actually, I don't know how old Drew Dober is at this point. He is, oh my God, he's 35 years old. Yeah, like he doesn't have too much longer in his career. So Drew Dober, I, I would really love to see him actually pursue a title run. He's had one hiccup against Matt Frivola, but other than that, the dude's been on an absolute roll. I would love for him to continue winning and winning and winning and make it all the way to the top because I'm a big fan of Drew Dober. The guy puts on such an exciting fight for the fans and he's always taking on the guys that nobody wants to take on. He's just a very respectable fighter. He's a very respectable guy. I like that he's walking in a fight week always with a smile on his face. Drew Dober, in my opinion, is super, super easy to cheer for. And while, like I said, I am a fan of Hanato Moicano as well, Drew Dober, I'm just, he is one of my favorite fighters, man. I really, really like Drew Dober. I hope he gets the win. But guys, let me know if there's any fighters that you want to win. Let me know why, regardless of bets, picks, I don't care. Let me know if there's anybody you're going to be cheering for. And thank you so much for watching the video, everybody. On the screen right now, you can find an early breakdown for UFC 299 if you're interested. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.